Hi, Year Tens. Welcome to our next lesson, looking at environmental change. I'm uh, sorry, urban change in a high-income country. We've looked previously at social um, impacts and opportunities, and economic opportunities created by urban change. So today we are going to be focusing on environmental opportunities created by urban change. So we're going to identify, describe, and explain a range of environmental opportunities in Bristol. Now, what you're going to be doing is um, these three questions here, and I'm going to give you 15 minutes to do that. So obviously, when the time comes, you'll just pause the video, um, complete the questions, and then you can carry on with the work afterwards. But what we'll do first um, is we'll have a look at the information that I want you to use in order to answer these questions. So Bristol's um, sort of famous for being a quite uh, green and environmentally conscious city. And in 2015, um, they became the first UK city to be awarded the status of European Green Capital. And as part of that, they've got this quite um, full programme of things they're going to do to try and improve the environment of Bristol. And that includes things to do with transport, includes things to do with energy efficiency and the development of renewable energy. So they are planning to increase the number of jobs working in low carbon industries from 9,000 to 70,000 in the next 10 years as well. And a lot of other things they're doing, um, putting in 100, 100 electric car charging points across the city. Um, every primary school pupil in Bristol um, has been encouraged to plant a tree to improve their green coverage. And they're also um, introduce an integrated transport plan for Bristol. So that is a specific thing we're going to look at as well. So on the next slide, you can see there's quite a bit of information there about this integrated transport system. Now, an integrated transport system is one where every part of transport links together. So you should be able to, for example, arrive by bus at the train station and almost straight away be able to get a train that links you then um, to other parts of the city or joins the mail, main rail network. They're trying to increase the number of bike paths that are there and um, walking routes to try and encourage people to get out of their cars and into public transport as well. So for some of the questions, if you take a few minutes to read this um, slide and read the information about the ITS, which is Integrated Transport System, and look at what they're doing. And then finally, uh, another thing that Bristol is trying to do is, is urban greening. So trying to increase the amount of green areas within the urban area of Bristol. So more than a third of Bristol is open space, and 90% of the population live within 350 metres of either parkland or waterway. Um, there are eight nature reserves and 300 parks of varying sizes in the city. And one of the main um, attractions, one of the main parks in the city called Queen Squares in the centre, used to be a dual carriageway. And now they've transformed that into a place where there's cycle routes and people go in the summer, uh, play frisbee. So try and increase the number of parks there. And you can see there's some more specific information about the urban greening that's taking place. One other thing they've done recently is um, with a new housing development, they've, as a requirement to build the houses, they also created a nature reserve, which created habitats for local wildlife, birds and plants. So we can see that the three slides there um, give a lot of information about what Bristol's doing to improve um, the environmental opportunities. And then obviously I want you to be thinking about how that's going to improve people's um, quality of life. So back to the questions. You can obviously read those slides again. You can spend some time going over them. And the first thing I want you to do is just summarize um, three major things that Bristol has done to improve the environment. And then explain how each of those three things will actually improve the environment. So what are the benefits from it? And then thirdly, I want you to describe how the different forms of transport are linked in Bristol's integrated transport system. And you could do that through a range of pictures or through a flow diagram that explains how the different parts link together. And you can see, uh, I want you to do take about 15 minutes doing this. OK, so go back and forwards as you need to on the slides. 
and give yourself 15 minutes to complete that task. Okay, next, I'm going to show you a sequence of photos. And I want you to think from what you've just learned about, what is this photo showing and how is this going to help improve Bristol's environment? So think about what, we, what you learned at the beginning of the lesson. Um, what do you think these primary school kids, there's a clue there, have just done? And how is that going to improve Bristol's environment? And then secondly, what is this showing? And how is that going to help improve Bristol's environment? Remember to try and add some detail here. Think about what benefits this will bring and what it will discourage in Bristol. And then the next one, what does this show and how will it help improve Bristol's environment? And again, this one, what is this showing? So on the left, we've got traffic congestion, which obviously could lead to pollution. And then what uh, are the two pictures on the right showing? What is it showing and how does it help improve Bristol's environment? And finally, what does this one show? What type of environmental opportunity improvement is this and how will it help improve Bristol's environment? OK, so now I want you to bring all that together. So we've got a practice exam question. So explain how environmental changes can improve the quality of life for the people of a named city in a hick. So we would obviously um, look to bug this question. So first of all, if we were boxing the command word, um, write the question out and then put a box around explain. So we're going to try and give detail with examples to answer this question. Underline the key words or the key bits we need to look at. So environmental changes and quality of life. And then obviously named city in a hick. So that would be Bristol. And then as we're answering this question, you would glance back at the number of marks. So let's think about how we would do this. Here I've got a, um, a sheet which will help you structure your answer. So first of all, you would start by saying one environmental change that can improve quality of life is and pick out one of the improvements, one of the things that they were doing in Bristol to help improve the environment. So you could pick the integrated transport system. You could pick um, the creation of 100 new charging points. But any of the other things as well, you could focus on urban greening. And then you will say this will improve the quality of life because and say what benefits that brings to the environment in Bristol and as a result, the quality of life. And that's your first point and develop. Then you would write a second and a third. So three separate short paragraphs to get your six marks. And remember to try and include specific information. Um, for example, I said they were building 100 new electricity um, charging points. I didn't just say they were building electricity charging points. That will ensure that you get the full marks. And give yourself eight minutes to complete this question. So pause the video, eight minutes, and then we can carry on. OK, so now you've had a chance to complete the question. We can have a look at marking it yourself. So look, read through your answer again. For a level one answer, which would get you one to three marks, you may have written one or maybe two environmental um, changes. And you may not have then developed them to say how it would improve the environment and therefore quality of life. OK, so your, your answer lacks the development that it needs. If you've got a level two answer and it's worth four to six marks, you would have written two or maybe three environmental um, changes that are happening. Each point would have been developed, say how it improves quality of life. And you would have used some specific location, named places or data. So you would have named the integrated transport system or you would have given the number of charging points or you might have named a place that's had urban greening take place. OK, so then mark your answer um, depending on this mark scheme and give yourself a mark.
And when you then hand in the work and you submit it up to Google Classroom, make sure you've put on there, you've shown in green pen if you've got it, your marking and your grade that you got. Okay, I'll just close the video down because I realize I'm on top of the uh, mark scheme. So when you've done all that work, give us a uh, load, load it up to Google Classroom. And if you've got any questions or problems as you're doing it, email your teacher and they will be able to help you out. Okay, see you later guys. See you for the next lesson.